Hello, my name is Salah Nassar. I'm with Aruba Networks and today I'm going to go over the installation process of Aruba Instant. So let's start out by unpacking the APs. So with me here I have two Aruba Instant 105s. In the box it comes with an installation guide and a quick start guide. So I'll set the installation guide aside because I'm just going to set it up here on my desk and I'm going to plug it into an Ethernet cable. Open my quick start guide and then I'll follow that process. Unpack my APs and I'll go ahead and plug it into my power over Ethernet cable here. And it looks like my AP is powering up so I do have PoE on this cable. Um, and the process is going to take about a minute to a minute and a half for the access point to boot up. So I'll go ahead and set that aside while I unpack the other access point. Actually, I'll just put that down here. Unpack the other access point. Quick start guide, hardware installation. Okay, so AP is unpacked. AP is powered in. Okay, so it's going to take a minute, minute and a half, so you can get on with your business while that's happening. Quick read of the installation guide. Um, it says when the APs are up, it's going to broadcast an SSID called Instant. I will use my laptop here to wirelessly connect to the AP and do over-the-air provisioning. The first thing I will do is put in my username password, um, specify the country code, and go through and create my network. So while that's the AP is powering up. I'll go ahead and get myself ready here. Uh, looking at the access point, the radios have not yet powered up, so the instant SSID is not yet broadcasting. Okay, so it looks like the radios are powered up now. So I, when I go over to my laptop, I should see the instant SSID broadcasting. So let me go ahead and check that and then get that started. Put that aside. Make myself some breakfast in the meantime. Okay, off to my laptop. I see the instant SSID. Yes, there it is. Connect to it. And there is no security authentication to connect to it, right? Yep, that makes sense. There we go. I open up a browser and it redirects me to the installation screen. Username, password is admin, admin. I see two access points here, but I only connected to one IP address. So that means um, I've connected to the virtual controller. Let me go ahead and create a network. I'll call this Aruba Demo. I'll connect to, uh, I'll create this as an employee network, and I'll let the network assign my IP address. Um, I'm not going to have an open network. I do want to lock this down with WPA2. And then the other option here is enterprise. So enterprise meaning I can connect this to an external authentication service such as Radius. So I'll go ahead and go with WPA2, uh, set up a test passphrase. Next, I don't want any firewall rules here, um, but however, I can limit this based on the firewalls I create. But for now, since this is a demo, I'm going to leave this open. So the firewalls are what, if you're used to Aruba network um, access points, you can do role-based authentication or role-based access using firewalls per SSID on Aruba Instant. So I've created the Aruba demo. I see that here. Let me go ahead and connect to Aruba demo. My passphrase is test, test, okay. It looks like I've connected. And if I go back here to my website, it's going to re-authenticate me now to the new SSID admin, admin, since I didn't change that. And my demo is up. My Aruba demo is up. And I have a network of two access points that are up now. And I am connected to one of these access points and yep there I am as a client yeah that's me with Windows 7 and that's all it takes uh, my Aruba instant network is set up so now all I have to do is wait for my toast to finish oh there we go instant is done toast is done I can get on with my day